Hey everybody, I'm Justin with americantrucks.com. Today, I'm talking to Michael about his 2017 F-150. Now, Michael's setup consists of the 20 by 10 inch Rough Country. It's the One Piece Series 95 in gloss black. Negative 19 millimeter is the offset, giving you that aggressive stance. Uh, wrapped around those wheels are the 33 by 1250 Nitto Ridge Grappler. And then making a little bit more room for them up front is the two inch Rough Country leveling strut extensions. Why did you choose this particular setup when we're talking wheels? Wheel, tire suspension well as far as wheel tire and suspension and everything i actually did a lot of research on uh, your youtube videos and stuff for american trucks i went through watched a bunch of them uh saw your videos on the rev country kit that's why i went with that your i watched your videos and stuff talking about your poke and everything so i started looking at stuff on your flush builds and your aggressives wanted to go with that aggressive build nothing too crazy and stuff but that inch and a half two inches up was really good on the truck so that's why I went with that. Now let's get into those wheels because the Rough Country one piece, the Series 95, I love it. I love like a spoky or meshy wheel. Why did you choose this particular wheel, Michael? I just, I really like the way that wheel looked and stuff, and especially the color matchup and stuff with the black and the color of my truck looks really good together. And I mean, you put those needles on there and stuff, it just completes the package. I mean, it's a solid wheel. Now, why did you stick with like black as opposed to bronze or silver or something like that? So I looked at the bronze wheels and stuff. Overall, I just, I really like that black look and stuff. I mean, that black just completes the color and stuff on the truck. Design of the wheel. Again, we could have gone maybe a simple with a five spoke or something like that. What really drew you to that design as opposed to something maybe a little simpler? I think overall, what drew me to the wheel is it kind of sets the truck apart and stuff. Cause I mean, you'll see a lot of truck stuff out on the road. That They've got that aggressive stance. They've got that level front and stuff, but that wheel can really make a difference and stuff when you put them side by side. Uh, and Rough Country too, I think a lot of people might think that name and like, oh, Rough Country, that's like a suspension company. I don't know, they make wheels, but uh, you have them. What's your experience been like with the Rough Country as a brand? So far as a brand, I've loved it. I mean, everything from their, their uh, leveling kit and stuff on the front to the wheels, it's been solid products. I mean, I've had zero problems with them whatsoever. They bounced out right, they ran good. Install was perfect, no problems. Now you got 20 by 10, that's 10 inch width along with that negative 19 millimeter offset giving you that aggressive stance. Why this diameter, why this offset, why, you know, with as far as sizing is concerned, why'd you go with something like this? I wanted that perfect amount of poking stuff sticking out on the side on the truck. And I mean that, that 33 by 12, I mean, it, just, it looks good. Let's get into the tires. You're talking a lot about them. It's probably one of the most popular tires out there. The 331250 R20 Nitto Ridge Grappler. Talk to me about the tire. I have been super impressed with them. Everything from tread pattern to, I mean, rideability honestly really surprised me. I thought they're gonna be a real rough riding tire. I've had multiple people that even drive my truck besides me. They said the truck drives like a Cadillac. I mean, it tires and stuff run great on the road and they're great off-road. So far, I've got even patterns and stuff wearing across uh, every tire, no problems with traction. Are they quiet tire too, Michael? Yeah, they're actually really not that loud. Uh, even on the interstate and stuff, I don't get a lot of road noise and stuff inside the truck. A 33 is a little bigger than a stock tire on the 17 F-150. Did you tune the truck at all or calibrate the Speedo for the slightly larger size? No, I haven't. And I've actually had a couple uh, top buddies of mine check me with the radar and they've, it's been pretty spot on as far as speed. Well, let's talk suspension. Um, again, a, a very popular choice here as well. We're sticking with rough country. You got the two inch leveling strut extensions on the truck. Uh, why did you go with this particular setup? I was watching your videos and stuff, checking out uh, what I need to do to actually get a 33 on the truck. And that was one of them that you had featured. Saw the install wasn't that hard. Got a mechanic shop and stuff here in town that was willing to do it. So went ahead and bought the kit and slapped it on. Did you have any rubbing issues with the aggressive setup of the rough country wheels? the 33s and the two inch leveling kit, does it have any uh, rub at all? If you put it in an extreme bind and stuff, you'll get just a little bit of rubbing, but not when it's maxed over. When it's probably about three quarters of the way, you'll get just a little bit, but not much. You still have the crash bars in place on your truck? Yes. There you go, that's always good to hear. I think a lot of truck owners out there want to run an aggressive setup like yours, but don't want to get rid of the crash bars, understandably so. So it's good to hear from you, Michael, and that you can run this setup, you can keep the crash bars and not have a ton of rubbing, so that's good stuff. How do you think it looks? I mean, this is always the question we wanna know, right? When you're talking about wheels, tire suspension, compared to stock, how do you like it? I mean, overall, I love the appearance on the truck. Uh, I've gotten lots of compliments. I mean, I've had, I've been sitting at stops and stuff, and I'll have guys leaning out of the truck and say, hey man, I love your truck. No, it's it's a great appearance, I love it. How about any plans to change the setup in the future at all, as far as maybe step into a bigger lift, a bigger tire, anything, any plans like that? Yeah, uh, probably in the future, I may go with 
a three to maybe a four inch lift on the truck and just do everything front to back. I'll do a full suspension on it. I may put um, some fender flares on at some point, but overall, I'm super happy with the setup. Well, there you go, guys. That was Michael again. Thank you so much for joining me today, sir. We really appreciate it. Uh, and guys, Michael set up one more time for y'all watching at home. It's a 2017 F-150 with a 20 by 10 inch Rough Country, the Series 95 in gloss black. Negative 19 millimeter is the offset, giving you that aggressive stance. 331250 R20 Nitto Ridge Grappler is the tire. And again, we got the Rough Country two inch leveling strut extensions up front. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. And remember for all things truck, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.